Good afternoon, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Grab Bag. Um, whenever I can't decide what to play, I usually just fall back on a, an LTTP rando. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. Let's have ourselves a, a nice link to the past randomizer here. Uh, normal open key sanity, randomized crystals, enemy shuffle, and full boss shuffle in effect today. Lots going on, lots to think about. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's have ourselves a good rando. Let's have ourselves a good rando. Starting out with 20 buckos. Uh, neither good nor bad, I suppose. I mean, early money is great. Um, would have preferred something a little bit more durable, but that's right. It's okay. All right. Let's see what the uh, overworld enemies are like today. Fire bars, I think I saw a fire snake earlier. Uh, oh, we've got little, um, little bubbles. So, uh, no tree pull because we weren't able to kill anything. <laughs> looks like we got fish on the overworld as well, that's good. But when we hit uh, Kakariko, looks like we got crickets there as well. That's a little dangerous. It'll cause two hearts of damage with just green mail. 300 bucks! 300 bucks on Uncle today. Um, that's money. It's a lot of money. Uh, oh boy. Ouch. Oh, I guess that's just normal ass, uh, small key to pod, too. All right. Well, now we've got a, a kill, so, ooh, wow. Stalpos Knights do two hearts, huh? Well, let's check the tree pull, and then we'll GTFO. So we weren't able to kill anything before we went into there. Uh, hearts. Okay. Not, not terribly exciting there. Not terribly exciting there, but okay. All right. Have a very dull start. Let's see what the sanctuary's got. Twenty more bucks. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, sanctuary. Amazing. Oh, amazing. All right. Well, plenty of money. Plenty of money. That's for sure. First three uh, item spots. We've first four item spots we checked have all been money. Oh, looks like we got a big ol'. Spike on the overworld as well. More fire bars. Uh, this is obviously not going to be the bush crab. We got that. I don't know what the heck is embedded in the tree there. Oh, we got bush crab. Arrows on the bush crab. It's still going to be hearts, right? Oh no, it's nothing. Okay. Terribly unexciting. Ooh, right. Stealth was nice. Got it. Got it. Got it. What about inside Lumberjack Cave? It's a small key. That stinks. <laughs> Hopefully not one of the important small keys. Um, would rather, rather not deal with that. But we'll keep it on our map just in case. Push me that's got today. Ooh, a bomb. Nice. Thank you. Bomb is nice. Uh, you know what? Fine. Grab babies for a shield. With the hopes of getting the fire shield later on early, so it's actually useful. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Little hardhead beetles on, under the bush. Uh, comes. To Eastern. Great. Thanks. Thanks for that. Again, still not terribly exciting. ourselves a fish on the way to the bottle vendor. No such luck today. That's all right. Well, here's hoping one bomb will be enough. Get us some more bombs, otherwise we just go buy a full set of ten and be done with it. Not have to worry about it. Twenty more bucks. Hey, there's some more bombs. Great. Small key to Skullwood. Eh. Burrit. Burrito to Eastern. Alright, well. Now we're just looking for that big key, yeah? Small key to Pod. Okay. Better. More useful than a Skullwood small key, that's for sure. It's 
head up the well. Five items. Five items in the well. Hopefully we get a weapon. Some description. Piece of candy's okay, I guess. One of four to get more health. Ten arrows, gee thanks. Thanks for pretty much nothing there. A burrito to dark balance, okay. More bombs, good. And a lamp, hey! Lamp's nice. No dark rooms for us. No dark rooms on our mind. All right, we got the 100 bucks for bottle vendor, which is a piece of candy. Nice, I guess. Plus, we've got enough bombs to tackle the rest of Kakariko and beyond here. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ah. This might be small issue depending on where they're at. Oh! Excuse me, I just want that item. Ah! <laughs> Let me get that item. Um, they're gonna force me to probably take a, a dunk here though. Oh, all for a skull with small key, do you think? Uh, please. Okay. That's what I kind of figured would happen, but I wanted to get that out of the way, so whatever. Or at least we can come up from the south now. Okay, mini Helmosaurs on the overworld as well. Less problematic, I suppose. I don't need that fish. We're not gonna walk it all the way up to Kakariko, I don't think. No luck on the fitty fitty bombs. Need to hit the tavern, race game. You know what, since we're down here, let's check race game first. It might not even be worth it. Might not be worth nothing today. And it really isn't. Like, heart container is nice and all, but I'm not gonna bother. We'll probably pick up enough health throughout the rest of the seed that would make that not really worth anything. Just a piece of candy in the library, too, so. Good, good, good. Now it's just the tavern. We can call Kakariko cleared for now. Well, crap, can't get around that way. Oh, and there's a heart container regardless. Alright, well, let's see. Four bombs. Four bombs is a bit troublesome. Uh. It's not enough to go south shore, really. At least not enough to clear out the uh, mini molar caves. Let's head on over to Sahashtabur here and see what he's got in the back. See what he's got in the back room, hiding the goods. These crabs. More crabs than usual, not great. and red guards, or blue guards, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Oof, lots of guards around Eastern. This would be the place to be. What a weapon, no? Compass to swamp. Blue cane, and a piece of candy, gee thanks. Hmm. Green pendant is in desert. Uh, green pendants in desert. Shit, we really don't have a whole lot to our names here. Uh, two bombs in blue cane is uh, is what we would have for mini Moldarm cave if we went for it. Lionel's on the overworld is terrifying. Spikes and gels, less so. Just looking for a weapon here. Like, we need something. You know? 20 bucks is not a weapon. Unless he can hurl those rupees real hard. I'm sure they'd do some damage, but. Probably have some sharp edges to him, a pointer. Pointy end or two, right? I don't 
have much to our name, and not a whole lot of gear to actually go to anywhere else. Like, we could dip into Eastern, that's easy enough. Pretty dry start here, it's just ten arrows on the bushcrabs, right? Yeah, okay. Check Desert Ledge, hit, uh, Hagina here. Probably have to do... Maybe we could do... Uh, front of escape with the weaponry we've got? 50 bucks on the ledge. Terribly exciting. Ow, little bitch. Jackass vulture. Make sure we don't get sniped before we get to Agina, thank you. Hmm, well, I guess we'll have two bombs after this. May as well just go buy a pack or something and be on our way. Small key to Hyrule. Ah, it's a Hyrule castle. Ooh, shit. Okay, well, I mean, Dark Cross is open for us. Right? Yeah. Dark Cross and Back of Escape, technically, since we have that, got that key. Ooh, I don't like my chances of killing that rat with uh, just bombs or anything, so. Well, let's see what we can do here. Kind of a, a weird little route we've got going on, considering none of our initial high-density places have really paid off too much. We haven't had a chance to go south short of Moldorm Cave yet, so... Mm. Guards and Dark... Oh yeah, Dark Cross... Even though we have got a light here, Dark Cross can be a little bit... ...stodgy, so let's, uh... Let's take our time. Take our time. Ouch. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, Lionel just fucking hurled himself into my face. Oof. Uh, well, okay. We know better this time. Ow, bitch. Hmm. I didn't want to use my cane, though, because I want to I wanna save the cane for getting the key rat. So we can get to the back here, but... Mm. Ow! Still managed to get me? What a bitch. Alright. Mm. This isn't looking good either. Oh, that's not good. Uh. <laughs> oh! Alright. Now we know. Where is he? There he is. Come on. Really want to get around him. Hey, a sword! Finally! Okay. We've got less of a problem here. Oh, right. That might not be a key rat. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Excuse me. Might not be a key rat this time because of enemy rando, right? So. Mm. It's a key mini helmet sword. That's fine. Bizarre route I've had to take in a long time to do this stuff. Heh, <laughs> ten bombs, sure. Small key to pod and a piece of candy. Good for a refill. Nice. Oh, uh, maybe I should have just done front of escape first and I won't. Too late, we'll get that later. But now that we have a Wapan. Do all the places that were too scary to do without an actual Wapan. Like Mini Moldern Cave. In front of Escape. <laughs> These enemies aren't too terrifying. Usually they roll pretty pretty easy. 
not a whole lot of enemies like that would be legit beatable in here this early. So usually the enemy rando rolls these down, if not about the same as Mini Moldor. 20 bucks. So small key to desert. Oh, desert small key. Hey, there's a fire shield. Nice. Okay. Visited Bambos and another small key to get in this tower. Okay. Uh, Bambos. Alright, well. Not the, not the most lucrative of Mini Moldorm games, but it's something. Rod cave here. We could fake flipper up to up to hobo. And then fake flippering anywhere else at this point would be kinda silly. Uh, ow! Hey, I need those bombs, little bitch. Out of there. <laughs> have that one. I'll let you have that one. I need the rest. A oh, hook shot is fantastic. Thank you, Ice Rod Cave. Let's see what Fish Rescue is all about today. Arrows, thanks. Hey, hook shot is real nice. Too bad we can't get up to the mountain yet. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. That should do it. I think we'll just check Hobo, considering we don't have money for Zora and we don't have uh, a Moon Pearl or an ability to water walk or uh, or the bow to set up Splash Delete or anything like that. So, just to the Hobo. The island, I believe, is just a burrito, so we're good there. Can we please not? get bopped by this ghost. Thank you. <laughs> Please and thanks. Okay. Definitely seen more terrifying enemies on the water. What about the hobo? What you got? Really? The hobo had moon pearl, huh? Which means we're looking at flippers somewhere. Alright. I guess now we'll water walk, or... Uh, fake flipper up to uh, waterfall. Hmm. Hobo with moon pearl is interesting. That means flippers is somewhere in the light world. Hmm. Doesn't fill me with joy. It does mean we're out of logic right now. It's not like it matters, actually, because um, we really don't have a good way, or any way, really, to get to the Dark World. Uh, no, don't go... Physics are not great. Uh, okay, I would just like to slip on by this dude without him exploding and bothering me, please. Oh, wow. Okay, please. Oh, come on! They were on their way out and they still... Alright, you know what? That's probably fine. Honestly, it's probably fun. Um, fake flipping into Waterfall Cave is not required right now. So, we'll just go do Front of Escape and then probably head on into Eastern. Because I anticipate I will be finding flippers in there somewhere. Or, perhaps a glove and then flippers will be on the mountain. Or, yeah, really anywhere. Really anywhere at this point. <clears throat> Anything to uh, expand the reach that I have. It's really, we've just got front of escape and whatever bits of Eastern we can accomplish because uh, we're out of other spots. I've already checked everywhere else.
a weapon before I came in here. Yuck. Compass to be used. Well, <laughs> okay. Big Key Eastern is good. Um, that's all the dungeon items for Eastern, I believe, because we got the, the compass and the burrito earlier. And depending on what boss is awaiting us in Eastern, it might be full clearable. As good a place as any to be going, I guess. Hope the enemy rando is kind to us. Okay, so Front of Escape was kind of a bit of a dud, except for that Eastern big key, I suppose. So off we go to Eastern. In the hopes that we can beat the boss there, and in the double hopes that it's a crystal that it's guarding, so... Oops, excuse me. Stun prizes arrows. easier to deal with, too. <laughs> so one of the guards sent his pet fish in his, uh, in his stead there. Good for him. Alright. Guaranteed- oh, jeez. Excuse me. Guaranteed five items here that we can get to. Uh, the sixth will be a bit of a, a challenge, depending on what boss it ends up being. Possibly one we can't even beat. One box, thanks. One of these got in the heart. Yeah, no, just these. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's see. We wouldn't be able to beat Trinex. Maybe it's just Trinix we can't beat, because I think all the rest of them we could. Um, we do have Bombos, so we could, in theory, beat Cold Stare. Uh, we've got Hookshot, so we could do Argus. <laughs> and there's the Flippers, okay. Very good, then. Okay, so with the Flippers in hand, that means our, our Moon Pearl is back into the logic. We picked that up at Hobo earlier. Mm, I think we could pretty much beat almost every boss except Trinex at this point. So even though we don't have the hammer, we could bust uh, the mask off of Helmosaur with bombs. Map the swamp, you think? Could bust his mask off with bombs. Unique item is an Eastern Palace, do you think? So that was probably the flippers that we just picked up not too long ago. Uh, one of these is hard. Yeah. Ah! A vanilla bow in Eastern. Are you kidding me? You know what? That's good. That's good. I do like the bow. It's a fine Wapan, and with our full set of 30 arrows, we could do some damage to a lot of different things. I really don't want to be losing magic, though, honestly. So if there's any... Bitch. Okay. Or if 
find some more magic just in case. I think we do have enough for one cast of visited bambos should we so need it. On the one in seven chance that it well, maybe more than one in seven chance, honestly. One in ten chance that it's a uh, cold stare. Oh, the boots, too. What are those? Okay. Eastern paying out pretty good. That could have been the unique item that the hint was referring to as well. Alright, so let's take our chances. Roll them dice uh, on this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, on this being a boss we can take care of. Assuming we can get up there, because he's. Despite having lamp in dark rooms here. No guarantee you'll be able to do our thing. Cold stare would be kind of a problem, although we're not really dealing with a whole lot of room hazards in this boss fight, so it might be okay the way it is. What we're dealing with here. Oh, it's a, it's a wormy lawn. That's fine. We can do this. It's gonna be uh, six swipes regardless, huh? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, come on. There we go. Easy peasy. Alright, now what is that gonna earn us though? A glove, oh my god, Eastern. What the hell? And a crystal to boot. Wow. Eastern being extremely valuable today. Cause we got the boots, a glove, the flippers, a bow. Four out of the six items in there were uh Extremely good. Uh, well, that in mind then. We don't quite have enough money for Zora, so we're gonna skip that for now. But now we can do Bonk Rocks, we can get up the mountain. We can do all sorts of fun shenanigans now. We can do most, if not all, of Light Side Death Mountain. We can even poke our heads into Hera real briefly. We don't have any keys to it, though, so it'll be a real short dip. Oh, did I not? I didn't do Bonk Rocks. <laughs> I said I was going to do Bonk Rocks, and I never did. Just kind of powered on through. A hammer. Bonk rocks for hammer, and I believe that is Dark World access. It is. It is, it is. Excellent. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Five hearts Dark World, not super exciting. Especially with green mail and enemy rando on. But, it be what it be. Be what it be, but let's do the do the mountain first here. We'll get this save and quit point. Right. <laughs> Troublesome. Uh, 
enemy rando and cabbages. Ugh. Get there. And a mirror. Vanilla mirror, sir. Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Before we hit Dark World, we grabbed ourselves a mirror. Thanks, I guess. Top, got a, a heart container up top, which isn't a terrible idea at this point. He's a heart inside. We don't give a shit about he's heart inside. But I guess we'll grab that heart container on our way through. Put us at six hearts instead of five. Improvement. Just very quickly poke our heads into here out here. We can get to two items. Two of five, I believe, right? Piece of candy, don't care about that. Map requires a green pendant. Okay, well, don't care about that. Then. Another heart container there. All right. If I knew how to do Heropod, I would probably do that, but I don't. So, so that's okay. Hey, get out of my way! Face. Okay. Uh, okay. The island real quick. It's another heart container. Lots of heart containers just sitting out in the open. That's alright. I preferred those to be in places that we're just gonna pick up incidentally. But, that's alright. Spiral Cave and the rest of uh, East Light Death Mountain. A fire rod is fun and cool. Put Skull Woods on the table. The back of Skull Woods on the table. Lionel's on the overworld is not fun. All right, seven more here. Two down below, and then five more upstairs. Be in a bottle. Small key to T-Rock. Thanks, I guess. More palms. And a small key to G Tower. Alright. Kind of unfortunate there wasn't anything terribly exciting there, but whatever. Uh, let's head up. Head on over to Thieves Town. Well, Village of Outcasts, I guess. And then Thieves Town whilst we're there. Few things on the way. We've got our bottle, so Sick Kid is there. More bottles. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Probably shouldn't sleep with those under your pillow or something. Go to the back way since we do not have the mitts. We do have the hammer. Love that single bush bonk. Why not? Right pixel. Alright, I'm 
actually tempted. Let's go up to Skull Woods. We have what? Oh, we got two small keys to Skull Woods. All right, so regardless of which way we go, we're good. Really, the only thing we'd be leaving behind is the big chest, since we don't have Skull Woods big key. But, meh. Just hoping it's uh, nothing of terribly good value. Candy. Not good for nothing. A flute is good for something, though. Real convenient to get that there, in fact. Eh. Ah. Jerk. Great. T Rock. Come here. Ow! Stop it! That's pretty much all the dungeon items for T Rock. Sands the big key. It. <laughs> ah, big key to Meyer. Boo. <laughs> Due diligence for the front half of Skull Woods. On over to the back. Yeah, of course, you put a fucking vanilla ass gibdo in this room. Ow! Okay. Oh, good. Caught the fucking anti-fairy up there. Are you serious? Okay, you setting that room. Would you... Can... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll be right in that room regardless. Thanks. Thanks so much for that. Would you? Oh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Pretty sure I heard an explosion. I heard a, a, an enemy kill explosion there. What the hell did I hit? That wasn't the Wallmaster there. Weird. Bizarre, but whatever, it's fine. Oh good, yeah, they packed a giganto spike in here again. Wonderful. Jerks. Too, huh? Okay. Shit. Nice. 
Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me, really? Bitch. Alright. Power through that one, then. Take two. So, look that. Okay, this is always the the big bitchy fight, depending on what's here. Oh god, it's a cold stare. <laughs> ah, ah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This is so uh, already. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. No. Alright, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm not throwing myself at that one over and over again. Nope. We'll just remember that's a cold stare and come back to it, because, oof. What a disgusting fight to have there. With fighter sword and or hammer and seven hard screen mail. <laughs> that's a hard pass. We'll come back for it if we need to. And heck, maybe we won't even need to. Maybe we'll have like one crystal each for G Tower and and Fighting Ganon or something. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Definitely don't need to worry about that shit right now. Bumper ledge, a burrito. Cave above graveyard and King's Tomb while we're over here, and then we'll head back over. Activate the flute that we picked up. going to be part of another one. I think we're either at two or three or four now. Okay, that does give us Batman at the very least. We go back over to the village. On top of being a pretty good safety item. Fairies and whatnot. Ice, good. Got what two of those now? That's that's plenty. Like we really only needed one. Having two is meh. 
<laughs> Don't need any more of those, please. Open up uh, waterfall of wishing. Hmm. We do have access to the pyramid, so we can go check. Uh, crystals we need for to beat Ganon at some point when we get over there. It's an exceedingly low number, that'd be nice, because I really don't want to go fight that uh, cold stare in the Mothula room. God, stupid. At the very least, it looked like the spikes in the conveyor belt weren't moving, so that's something. Small key to Meyer. Okay, we don't really need any of those. We do have the big key to Meyer. What do we know about these? We know that Pod is a Pendant, we know that T-Rock is a 5 6 -er. and we know that Swamp is a Normal Crystal. Okay. Good info to have, I suppose. We did pick up enough Rupees for Zora, so as soon as we can get our butts over to Catfish, we can take care of that in one swoop. New bucks there. Terribly good. Do we have... I don't have any keys to feed, so... Front half, I suppose, while we're here. Oops. Hit the front four. Real easy, quick checks, and we can mirror on out. Ooh, a book. Literacy acquired. We can get into the desert. We have, I believe, both keys for you. Oh no, neither key. Oh wait, yeah, we got this small key. That's it. Yeah, sir. Box. Hey, walk on the ladder. Get the fuck out of there, idiot. Oof. The screen is not happy with this number of sprites on it. All right, thank you. thing my ding was. I thought that was Toad, but I couldn't really get a good look at it. Compass to T-Rock. Front of Thieves Town is coming up empty here. Yep. Pretty empty. Two big 20s, a compass, and something else that I forgot, but wasn't terribly exciting, as I recall. South. We could technically get into Swamp and get the, the very first item in there, but boy howdy would that be not a great idea. Full 30? 12, 24, 29. Good gravy. 29 digs out of 30 to get those bombs. Gee, thanks. We didn't pick them up because we don't need them. Gee, thanks, gee, thanks. Okay. Good old cave south of Grove. What you got for us today, huh? A compass. No thanks.
Get a little stumpy. Ah, it's candy. It's good for a refill. Yeah, nice. Okay. Eight hearts better than seven. find out what the other five sixer is. And then hit Hype Cave. And then uh, cruise up and around. Turtle Rock and Skull Woods. Oh, Skull Woods was the other uh, five sixer. That sucks. <laughs> that cold stair fight. That's not great. Ooh, spike rollers on the overworld too. Oh, no. And chain jumps. Yikes. Math magic. Nice. Alright. Uh, buckos. 20 buckos. 50 buckos. And a piece of candy. Alright. So expecting either 100 or 300 then with that progression. Alright. Hype, hype came kind of a bust. Half magic is nice, but hardly necessary. Alright. Head on over to Catfish, do all the Zora stuff whilst we're up there. Then we can hit Pyramid, check the crystals there. Chain chomps or, or spike rollers. Great. Times both. Because why not? Thanks, enemy rando. Yikes. Four things we could check a long time ago. 20 bucks and more bombs. All right. I think I didn't retry that fake flipper then. No, a piece of candy on the uh, Zora ledge there. Fifty bucks or five hundred bucks, all for this candy. She thanks. She thanks, I guess. Let's take our butts out of here. Go back to our portal and then hit the pyramid and then possibly go into. What do we have for pod? We got three small keys for pod. Not bad. Not bad. Make some good progress with that. I think we're still in one-shot territory with both the spike rollers and the chain chomps, so let's be careful on our way back. Alright. 
need one crystal to beat Ganon. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? We've already got one crystal. That's good info to have. Truly it is. But, we still don't know how many crystals we need to get into the tower. And we don't have the G-Tower big key, so... Still missing. Still missing some equipment. Uh, I definitely need another sword as well. To uh, at least hurt Ganon. We do need Master Sword, but... That'll be a little bit easier than trying to find the G Tower big key, though, considering. That's right. Got half of the intel we need. see what I'll be able to do here and the big key eventually ha well there's the big key <laughs> very good very good Titansmiths. Nice. Okay. That does mean we can go up the mountain, Dark Side Death Mountain, and find out our last bit of intel there. Hmm. <laughs> if that's uh, where it's pointing us towards, huh? So here's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Arrows don't work on good deaths. Good, good, good to know. Good to know. I think I'll burn these two keys here. Get everything that I can out of here. Oh, nice half. Yeah, thank you. Why oh, did? Why doesn't he fall? Wow. All right. Got his hover boots on. I guess. And I will save this last key so we can just go straight to the boss and hopefully be able to beat it. That will be a, a bit of a risk to take. Box things. Worthless so far. Titan's Mints open up pretty much the remainder of the overworld. Got the mirror and such to do everything. And we can get in to pretty much every dungeon. Oops. 
Do I have the... Okay, I don't. Ten arrows. Boy, oh boy. Gonna bother going down harmless hallway there. I'll do this instead. Okay, <laughs> and unless this is a Trinex, we should be able to, well, what the, wait, what the fuck? No. Just to hit it off the wrong one, huh? Oops. Um, so unless this is a Trinex, we should, in theory, be able to beat this boss, depending on what it is. Wouldn't mind seeing another uh, Wormulon. Oh, wait, this is a pendant. Do I care? I don't care enough for this, actually. I don't care enough to defeat this if this is a pendant. Duh. So I'm gonna burn my last key to get two items instead. I've left this dungeon in a pretty patchy state of affairs. Considering, but eh. so we'll have harmless hellway and the boss. I guess are the only two items left here. Okay, so not not awful, not awful, surely. Okay, then. Uh... Before I do that, though, I think I'd rather go up the mountain and get that last bit of info. Despite the fact that we are still missing. Still missing the G-Tower big key. So even if we do climb up the mountain here... We're not going to be able to get in. Unless we find it on the way, which would be something. Considering how much we're missing as far as items, maybe not a great idea. <laughs> There's still a, a pretty good possibility that we would need to fight a Trinex on the way up the tower. Which uh, would kind of uh, brick wall us a bit. But, who knows? Maybe we'll find something cool while we're up here. Like the Quack Medallion. Or the Ether Medallion. Alright, well. Very good. Can get into anywhere, pretty much. Except without Samario, we're locked out of T-Rock. Fine by me, honestly. I don't give a shit. I don't care to go into T-Rock right now. God. Uh, thanks for that, Spike Roller. One of the single rupees. Piece of candy. The brewery fillers a master sword. Alright, we're good. Well, I wouldn't say we're good on swords necessarily, but... We have enough to hurt Ganon. Hmm. <laughs> Still wouldn't say I'm very well equipped to do so, but... Unopenable with one. Six! Ah, oh, you little bitch! I 
need six to get into the tower. That it sucks. Ow. No. Well, that kind of stinks. Oh, I should have done the ether tab whilst I was up there. Uh, too late. Stinks. Could have had a, a real good, solid, quick one tonight, but six crystals to get into the tower kind of squashes that notion. Well, hmm. I'm missing a whole lot of big keys to get this done then. Knew how to hair pot, we could probably take care of one. There's one I can get for sure out of uh, Skull Woods, although it's gonna be a kind of a shitty fight. Okay, ten hearts is pretty okay. It's better. It's better, surely. Uh, all right. Well, first of the overworld checks, I guess. <clears throat> Pick up some stuff. We can probably get into desert. Get into desert. Uh, that's the green pendant, though. Yeah. You can get into swamp. We have the small key, right? Yep. We've got the swamp small key. get us into T-Rock now. Uh, we don't really have enough keys to do anything about it, though. Smith chain here. Smith himself, and then the purple chest. Bloomerang, thanks, I guess. Hmm. Could do busy bambos while we're down there, so we may as well walk it out. particulars are for <clears throat> the particular glitch to just leave the chest behind and then go down to the dude and have him open it from afar. We're not going to risk trying to figure that out on the fly. Is that our first or second one there? Uh, 
Only the first. Okay, good. Combos. Tenor. Smooth. We have the Meyer big key? We do. Okay. Get any more burritos in that? On the way there? No. Better to check what opens my since we've got all three of the medallions. Red goo. And some blue goo. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure, sure. It's a good safeties there. Do I have the desert big key? No. Desert small key. Candy and check for it. Okay, well, let's do Meyer first. We should be able to full clear it. Hope that it's a crystal, not the other pendant that we don't know about yet. items in my that's a pretty good pile. Oh, okay. Need to do that. All popos. Thanks. At least. Not like it matters, we can't really afford to leave any of these behind. Just in case.
Ah, ah. Placement potion. Very good. That's all four bombs. Or bombs. Bottles. small key. Of no use to us without the thieves' big key. Probably the best order we could get it in. Pretty good shape to beat every boss except trying it. <laughs> yet again. It's uh, no ice rod as of yet. What are we dealing with here? Oh, it's a normal ass vitreous, huh? fight. <laughs> Going to the front half of desert. While we're here, <clears throat> that's the big key. We are SOL on the big chest and then the back half. Oh, well. Oof. 
bogus shit for those two. <clears throat> two more we can get. <laughs> well, never mind. Go through the rest. It's two big keys that have been in their own dungeons. Cash is in Mimic Cave, alright. Don't worry about Mimic Cave then. I guess since we're here, we know something bogus is on Green Pendant, so we don't even have that going for us. <clears throat> but we don't know what's on the boss, or what boss it's going to be, so... I guess we may as well just go for it. here. enough to deal with in this very plain, non-hazardous room. Wow, fucking hammer hitbox sucks even with your sword doing a thing. Ow! Oh, you little bitch. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. All right. Eat shit, Helmosaur, in place of Lanmo. What do you got for me? With the ice rod. Okay. You know, I'm pretty glad. <laughs> pretty glad I beat his ass then. So now we are pretty much safe against every boss. Should be able to beat them all. More or less safely. I just need the big keys to get such places though. Not so much for swamp or ice, of course. Oops, I went to the wrong spot. southern sweep of dark world here. We can do swamp, we can do ice. And then we'll need to do some key hunting, I think. So we are currently lacking a, a fair few big keys. Still need four more crystals to really do anything.
do if the swamp's small, right? Yes, I think I could. Thought I remembered picking that up. <laughs> Read up for Hyrule Castle. Thanks. Thanks for that. Fetch quest. Big old dud in the swamp here. Looks like I tried to do diver down. really tried to do that particular glitch before. Got the magic to pull it off. Try it multiple times and the bombs, and we don't really have much health, so to not try to do the bomb setup for it, so it's gonna cost me a harder a heart of failure. Which there will probably be a fair few considering. Potion. Well, and a red potion. Another red potion, too, for safety. Just in case things get a little bit too stupid. Alright, let's go try Diaper Down. I think I've seen it often enough to give it a real solid go. Uh, I don't know what the lineup is for it. Uh, uh, 
I have no idea what the lineup is for it. That's too too low. It's too high. That might be right, but I don't even know what the. Okay, I don't know what the sequence is. Never mind. <laughs> Just observing it in so many runs is apparently not equivalent to actually knowing what you're doing. Oh well. Better luck next time. Hardly exciting. My heart. It was just insulating me for my fight with Cold Stare in the Mothula room eventually. Small key to Miss Ryan, she thanks. And a crystal at the very least. Hmm, only three more to go. Well, we pretty much only have one more overworld spot. Well, two, I guess, but we don't have the thing to get to it. We did pick up the mushroom. I think in it's either in Desert or Mire, so we've got that. But, we can also clear out ice, I believe, right? Yeah. Clear out ice, we can beat the ice boss without, uh, without the big key. May as well do that. We'll be leaving one item behind. A lot of the big chest. But, whatever, it's fine. Really found any other big keys to make this a uh, thing that we can do for other things. Aghanim's tower key and a chest requiring it. We already knew that. That's right, we do have castle tower, which we can get both items there with just the uh, with just the uh, one tower key that we've got. So that's another two. to do Icebreaker, but I honestly don't know what the setup is for that either, so we're not going to waste our time. It's good 
good to go and do the, the nice classic traditional Ice Palace bomb jump. At least that I can pull off with pretty good regularity. for 500 buckos, a piece of heart. Excuse me? What the hell? Why is my lineup so shitty here? Okay, what the hell? Is the Mario sprite just a bit fatter than everything else, or what the hell? this up because I swear I had the right lineup for that. Pixels, sword one pixel from shadow. Yeah, that's what I did. And it didn't fucking work. What the hell? How is this? Uh... One more try at this, well, unless I burn my other potion. Bombs the way it is. What the hell? This is fucking bizarre.
This money problem, it's a dumb bomb jump. Okay. Now, I'll watch a fucking video and just tell me how to do it. I guess I don't even need to do this. I've got the cane of Samaria. <laughs> Duh. It's just annoying. Like, I usually I can nail that one first try. Like, almost every time. So I don't know why I'm having such a large amount of trouble with it today. So it probably has to do with this Mario sprite. Honestly, I never used this one, so... Good on me. Well, that sucks. Wasted all of my potions. Good, a sizable number of my bombs. No, bombs are easy to replace. Like so. better. At least complete Hera now. There's no way in heck I'm going to be able to get the uh, Hera pod. I've been able to pull that one off either. Such weird precise lineups that I can't quite do. And if I can't even do the simplest ass Ice Palace bomb jump here, there's no way I'm going to do the lineup for Hera pod. rock okay that's something we still need at least two more small keys uh I'll bother trying this bomb jump since i couldn't do the others Still gonna need to. Shit. I might still need to do the bomb jump, actually. <laughs> Wrap. Small key to T Rock. Alright, oh, well, something. Uh, hmm. I'm actually, not quite sure what I need to do now. So I can't. I can't do that bomb jump. I'm not going to be able to flip the switch. Hmm. <laughs> Those big keys in the castle, yeah, thanks. We already knew that. So... Shit, I don't know. I'm going to be able to complete this without the big key now.
Pretty sure these switches will be not in the right position now. Yeah, fuck. Uh, this is not gonna work without that bomb jump. Alright, well, we're gonna have to hope we either don't need to do this dungeon or find the big key somewhere. Because for whatever reason, I can't do the bomb jump with this, sp this sprite. Seems weird. Seems weird, but hey, it's the way you have it, I guess. I need really. Right. If we go up the mountain again. Let's go. Finish off Skull Woods, destroy Cold Stair. So we now have a little bit better equipment to deal with this. Thieves Town, big key yet, do we? No. I guess really the only big key we're looking for now is the Ice Palace big key. Maybe we won't need it. Hmm. Troublesome. Well, and the GT big key, I suppose. We don't have that yet, do we? No. Okay. But maybe Ice Palace is the one we get to skip. Oh, and the Thieves Town big key, actually. I'm pretty sure that one's going to be a crystal as well. Well, maybe one of them will be a pendant, so it won't matter. Who knows? easier. <laughs> so one of the five sixers at the very least. And that's crystal four. Two more to go. Other five sixers, T-Rock, which we know we could be able to power through, right? Now we can go up and do Tower of Hera. 
So maybe Tower of Hera and uh, T Rock are our last two. Hopefully, between all of those, between those two, we find the G Tower big key in there somewhere, and or the silvers, and or another sword. All of the above would be wonderful. Also, wouldn't say no to blue mail either. Thirteen hearts is enough, surely, but blue mail would make it even better. First, so that just in case we do find G Tower Big Key and T Rock, then we'll be right outside. That would be something. It's her. Same for fire as well. Hey! Oh, well, there's another sword. Excellent. Oh, come on. Good. Yeah. Bounce on out of here, little shitbag. Town and or G Tower. We know is a bust, so we don't need to bother with that. Do have the big key, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Making sure.
too. Good, I guess. Good, I guess. Terribly exciting, but I preferred a big key to somewhere. I'm gonna go this way, because I saw that spike roller. like two or three other times there. Nice. <clears throat> Thanks for that. Oh. Okay, well, luckily that'll just take me over to here. Key to G Tower, nice. Okay. Well, we might be good regardless then. Assuming well, T Rock we know is a crystal, right? Assuming a Hera isn't the other pendant, we are now good to go. And even if it is, we've got the big key to ice, so we can go finish that if we need to. Either way, I think we are set. Let's just hope that Hera is also a crystal so we can just knock out G Tower right away while we're up here. Oh, and it's a vanilla Trinex. Very good then.
really we've got a two and three chance of Hera being a crystal. I'll, I'll play them odds. Pretty good odds in our favor. Silvers, I can easily do Silverless Ganon with Butter Sword. No problems there. Let's check. Check the stuff that's on my way in the hopes of getting silvers. Or blue mail. Like, blue mail would honestly be better than silvers at this point. Bit of protection. center there. Ah, uh, the big key of what? Thieves? Swamp. Oh, whoop de doo Okay, good. That was also a crystal. So we are good to go into G Tower now. Can go straight to the dock, because I think we do have two small keys. Which is even better, honestly. The only thing we have to worry about now are the two boss refights, which, at this point, we're ready to take care of. We've got four blue potions in reserve, just in case. So we are good to go with this. No problem, no problem. Hey, Dark Dennis. How you doing? Oop. Nearly done with this one here. Oh, just hold up my corner. 
Assuming we don't run into any ouch. Any super big problems here, looking like a 2 212, 213 maybe? Maybe a little bit less than that, considering. Well, we'll have to do silver. Oh, uh, hello, Armos. <laughs> Dear kind we've seen today. fight to go. Damn Pokemon Emerald Suit decided to play some Zelda on GBA emulator. Cool. Wh which Zelda? Which Zelda are you playing? Alright, there's some blue mail. Finally. Or in the red mail. <laughs> okay. Now we're definitely set. Jeez. Both mail upgrades in the G Tower Ascent here. Be wild. Check this while we're here. <laughs> the bug net. Hooray. Pretty much a full item menu now. Ooh, and it's another cold stare. Okay. Ooh, I'm fine now. Although this is much less threatening with red now. And butter sword. <laughs> The little red cap, Alan's my Oh, uh, Minish Cap? Minish Cap? Something like that, right? I did like that game. That was very... That was very fun and refreshing. I know a lot of people did not like that particular one. But, you know, sometimes there's no accounting for taste. Wizard the second. Let's go. Ooh, almost got all three there. Mm. Okay, double double. Ah, oh, quite a triple double. There we go. Oh, not a bad jerk, Wizard the second. You haven't played any Zelda games before. Oh, wow. Really? Well, I'd recommend pretty much any of them. All of them are very good games in their own right. Regardless of uh, what folks may say. They're all quite good. Except maybe the CDI Zeldas, but those can hardly be considered Zelda games. Unfortunate that we didn't find the silver arrows, but we should be all right Considering everything else we've got oh, I do need to be careful here. I do not have fairies Plenty of potions though All right, that should be enough for phase three. Yep. Alright. 
did not find the owl. It went in Gan's tower on its own. Ooh. Okay, good. Torch glitch. Should be pretty easy now. cycle. No, oh, no, what? Why did that carry me into the... Ah, damn it. Well, that's right. That's why we have three more potions. Uh, have I ever played Pokemon? Uh, I played a very small amount of... I think it was Red. It was one of the first gen ones many, many years ago. Um, wasn't quite my thing. Didn't have a great time with it. I haven't played any of them since. Just didn't click. But I can see why people like them. Like, I, they look like really fun games. I, it just wasn't for me. It wasn't my type of thing. Try number dose here. Song. But no, took a dumb bop and fell down. Oh well. Shit, I'm gonna miss Torch Glitch though. That kind of stinks. Too off of this? Surprised. No, what the fuck, man? Boxes. Cool. Do this a third time. Love it. Love doing the uh, first three phases again and multiple times. It's the best. It's the best. Okay, well, it was gonna be like a. 211, maybe a 212. Now it's going to be a 216. Or worse. If I fall again. Hi. Alright. No big deal. We still got plenty of... Plenty of equipment. Plenty of potions. Uh, that may not be enough for the phase. Is it? It is. Okay, good. Silver arrows. Because I suck at it. <laughs> At least two on each cycle. Good enough. Yeah. 
Ow. Gotta mess around with that. There we go. First try. <laughs> Okay, looking like eh, about a 217. Not bad. Considering the runaround we had to do at the end there. Yeah, 216.59. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Alright, prepare to fast forward. See them credits, see them stats at the end, and call it a day. Wasn't the greatest seed we've ever had. Kind of rough in the middle there, but well, most of my seeds are rough in the middle, regardless. Pretty fast first crystal, sub 30. Next one was quite quite a delay. We got brick walled in ice palace because I kept fucking up the bomb jump. Eh, not too bad, regardless. Yep, so that was the game in two hours. It wasn't really the actual game. This is a randomizer for this particular Zelda game. Where all the items are kind of mixed up from where they should be in the normal game. Plus you'll see a lot of graphical weirdness too, that's from other things. But yeah, I'd, I'd say... It, like, if you were playing this game for the first time without it being randomized, it's probably a good... Probably five to six hours, I'd say. But I've played this a lot. <laughs> I played this a lot as a as a wee child many years ago, and then I've been playing the randomizer for like three years now, I think. So I don't know. Always a lot of fun. One of my favorites. One of my favorites, to be sure. Not bad, though. Kind of bogus that we got the armor upgrades, the mail upgrades, uh, at the last minute there. But, it's nice to have them. <laughs> at the very least. Uh, this is on Super Nintendo, although I'm playing it on an emulator right now. I could play it on real hardware, I just need to hook it up. But I am, how they say, lazy. Woof! Let's see what our stats are, then we'll call it. Hmm, there is a port of this for Game Boy Advance, I believe. Yeah. They did a lot of ports of this particular one. There was one on Game Boy... Uh... Game Boy Advance. I believe they, they might have done one for DS as well. Yeah. And then they did a remake slash remaster called Link Between Worlds for uh, 3DS. Not quite the same game, but very, very similar. Uh, 156 out of 216, that's not great for a randomizer. <laughs> but hey, welcome to me playing randomizer. Alright, well not too bad. We got most of the items. Did most of the overworld checks. Did most of the dungeon checks. Um... Ice Palace was kind of shitty, but Ice Palace is always shitty. Uh, but not too bad overall. 217. 216.59. Not bad for this particular <laughs> set of options for the randomizer. But that'll do it for today. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll be playing some cross code. They dropped their new DLC for it three weeks ago. We're a couple nights into that, so I'm looking forward to continuing that and seeing what more they add. Uh, stream after that will be on Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll be starting a new game. Have yet to to pick what that's going to be since we've now finished up with Receiver 2. Um, we'll pick something new off of our list and start that up. But that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.